Xanthohumol has often has also been shown to be beneficial for, for arthritis, common condition as, as, as people age, degenerative changes in all of our joints, and osteoarthritis in particular is, uh, is characterized by a breakdown in the cartilage between the bones. And what happens at the beginning of arthritis is that the cartilage substance tends to put out a, uh, a molecule called hyalo Uran, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Um, the xanthohumol seems to be able to reduce the uh, production of this hyaluronan and, and help protect uh, the, the uh, arthritic changes from occurring. But it does; it has been shown in vitro to to uh, to suppress hyaluronan. It also has, as, as far as the arthritis uh, condition goes, profound anti-inflammatory benefits. It has COX-1 and COX-2 psychooxygenase, which is a, a big term for the, for the molecules that the anti-inflammatories tend to react. In other words, if, if a person is taking ibuprofen or aspirin, they're basically uh, working on the COX-1 and COX-2 systems. Uh, xanthohumol and other co uh, hops uh, constituents have an anti-COX-1 and, co and COX-2 benefit. So it does have the anti-inflammatory benefit and it does have this, uh, this benefit of, of, of seemingly to protect cartilage, which is, which is quite unique for, 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 for one nutraceutical. And as far as uh, other bone conditions, uh, it seems that, it, that it's beneficial for osteoporosis. Uh, xanthohumol has been found experimentally, again in vitro, to increase uh, the cellular activity of what's called osteoblasts. And the osteoblasts are bone cells that lay down new bone tissue. And it also inhibits other cells called osteoclasts, which actually cause bones to diminish. Mm. So it could lead later on to uh, fruitful research in osteoporosis because of, of, the, of these profound activities.